Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to talk about uh, the situation where maybe you're shipping out your items and you actually have to charge tax on the shipping. And this has to do with locale. Usually it has to do with the location that you are shipping to. So you need to know your, your rules or local rules or rules for the place you are shipping to on whether or not you need to actually charge tax on shipping. In some situations you do have to charge tax on shipping and in other situations you do not. Before we jump into this I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there we have over a thousand members also using QuickBooks Point of Sale just like you and you can ask questions and get some dialogue and community going on uh, how to handle different things in QuickBooks point of sale. If you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. Thank you very much. So here I am in point of sale. We're going to do a quick make a sale screen here. Uh, I'm just going to add an item or two. Do, 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 boots. All right. They're all spoken for for the customer orders on hand. Just ignore that. I am going to ship these $70 boots to somebody and so you can see if I go on I want to ship these items you can actually record a lot of good information in this receipt so you can look back at it uh, later on in your history but let's say um, I'm shipping to some company bear with me something street somewhere you know Minnesota. So just put that stuff in there. Then the amount that you actually have to charge for shipping on this order goes here. Uh, so this is what you are going to charge to the customer. I'm going to charge this person $17 to ship it. And I'm going to ship it today on UPS, I guess. And if you have the tracking code, you can put that in there just for your notes and for your records. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you're going to notice that our shipping is a straight up $17. The $69.99 for the boots plus the $17 is $86.99. Uh, there is currently no tax involved here. Uh, in my location, we do not uh, charge tax on clothing, so that's straight. It's just no tax at all. Now, uh, you can see the notation here, and you'll be able to see that in your history later. But anyway, what if you're shipping to a place where you need to charge tax on the shipping because of your local regulations? Well, I'm going to cancel out here and we are going to head on the file menu to preferences and company. And I'm going to click on sales tax. This might take just a moment while it queries my QuickBooks accounting about the tax codes and rules. You can see that it's going through and it's about to show up. So I have a few different tax locations and that would be if I'm shipping to somewhere within my local state where it's a different sales tax and I have to collect a different sales tax amount. You are going to be using the same division to assign which areas you need to charge tax on the shipping itself. Keep in mind we're talking about actually charging tax on the shipping. So you need to know your local rules on whether you charge tax on the shipping or if you don't have to t charge any tax on the shipping. So my local sales tax uh, is normally what I would charge even though I have a different default down here. That's from a different video besides the point. All right, so if I am shipping to North Lake, which is a different place, and for some reason, when I ship to North Lake, I also have to charge tax on the shipping. So I'm going to hit Edit Tax Location. And right down here, there's a checkbox for shipping to this location is taxable. So I'm going to check that. And I'm going to say I have to tax it with the code tax. So I'm going to hit OK. And that's it. You just have to select each tax location where you do need to charge tax on the shipping amount. and you can turn that on. So now if I head back to my make a sale screen and I'm gonna add the same exact product so we can see the difference. Big dumb boots, $69.99. I want to ship these items 
and I don't think I need to fill everything out in here. Let's just say I'm going to put in the 17 for today and hit OK. Now we can see that we have $1.32 in tax and that is a direct tax on that $17 shipping charge. And that, my friends, is how you 